was definitely quiet, very quiet. Uh, it was it was kind of surreal, honestly. Um, just hearing like no fans, just hearing people talk on the ice. It was wasn't as fun, definitely for us players. I'm gonna throw my hat on the ice. Will Calverly the hat trick. Um, awkward, I guess, because usually, like, like I said, the RIT fans are so great and passionate. They're making noise all the time, and then last year, we just really missed that. I think the thing I'm most excited for is the fact that like our sophomores and our freshmen haven't seen it yet. Like They haven't experienced being in that tunnel, uh, listening to the crowd noise, uh, listening to the chants when we're coming out, listening to the chants after we score. Um, and I'm excited to hear it again because I'm sure I forget some of them. Corner crew to count it down. Just being in the tunnel before the game, before we're ready to, to come out, just hearing the t t fans uh, uh, chant our names, uh, chant the Tigers, uh, and RIT, I think, uh, just sends goosebumps every time. You know, that warm up's going to be rocking, and I just can't wait to actually skate out there and see fans for the first time in, like you said, almost 500 days. Over a pass. Oh, going in, Walker! Yes. Scores! Scores! The Tigers! I think our crowd gives us so, mo so much momentum and so much energy after we score a goal. And last year when we scored a goal, it was just silent. You had to make your own energy. So that was definitely tough. So hopefully this year, you know, we can score a lot of goals and I hear the fans scream a lot. It was definitely a, a long process, a long time coming, but uh, we're excited to get fans back in the building and we're excited to just, you know, play meaningful games again.